Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today on our Secrets of My Success series. Today we've got the honour and the pleasure of having Jill Rafferty, owner and principal of McGrath Collaroy. She's an outstanding lady and just last month she had one of the best months in real estate. So you're probably wondering, what are her secrets to success? Jill, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, what was your background before getting into real estate? Well, before I got into real estate, I was a hairdresser by trade. So I'm a hairdresser by trade, and then I ended up going into more of the beauty side of things. So we purchased a beauty salon and had them built up a couple of salons and had them for about 11 years. And it was through there that I, I met my business partner um, and his wife, who were clients, who then sort of suggested, why don't we go into real estate? You know, so I guess it was the customer service background that then helped me move into a whole different industry. So Jill, how long have you been a principal and I suppose, when did you decide to become an entrepreneur or a principal for your business? Yeah, it's been about eight years now. So I guess since I met my business partner originally, who sort of encouraged me to come out of the beauty industry and start a whole new career, we started our own business pretty much straight away. So we started um, a boutique agency in the Manly area. So I, would, I guess I was a principal right from the beginning. Um, I never sort of went in and became an agent first or started through the ranks, I guess, as we like to see them now coming right through from reception through to sales support and then going out as agents. We went in and created our own brand and business early on. In hindsight, it was a great way of learning it because you sort of throw yourself in deep end as well. So you are the receptionist and you are the the sales support and you, you, you and you're the agent. You're everything when you start. And it's just the two of you. Um, so it'd be eight years now how, from from going into that. Um, and I guess the entrepreneurial side comes with growing the business and following your dreams within that time period. You know, how do you manage to list, sell property, look after an office? and still have time for your beautiful family. How does that all work for you? Um, sometimes not, <laughs> not so great. Um, and sometimes it's prioritizing, to be honest. It's, and you can never have your fingers on, on every ball. You've sort of, I talk about you know, wearing different heads and it's, sometimes you've got to stop and work on the business and not in it. And it often, it can change. It can change throughout the year and the, and the month and the time and in the sales side. When the sales are there, you want to run with it and you want to, you know, you've got to run with it. Um, but there's a time then when you've got to stop and then look back and on the business. So um, I'm lucky that I've got a great coach um, and, and a great supporter that comes in without having a sales manager. I'm then able to, you know, bring a coach in, meet with my agents fortnightly and keep them accountable and trackable and yet I'm there then every day in order to put quick flames out, answer quick questions, encourage them, go out on listing presentations with them and sort of keep an eye on the business that way. Um, as far as balancing with the kids, do you get it right? Do you get it wrong? I don't know. You just have to have a really, really good partner, that a husband that's um, flexible too and allows you to do them hours that you do. because. It's a 24-7 role, and you never know when you're going to be busy and when you're not. So it's really important to have that the family who understand and support you and allow you to do that, which is great. And if you've got a good partner who's there um, and can be with the, you know, the children at the times and need be and family around you, then that really helps. So Jill, what's one piece of advice that you would give to any mother who's in real estate at the moment or thinking about getting into real estate? Yeah, that's, it's a good question. Um, think about it before you do it. Um, it's, it. It's not a 24, you know, it's not a nine to five role. It really is a commitment. Um, and if you want to be good at it, you want to obviously earn the dollars at it, you've got to do the numbers. So in order to do the numbers, you've got to put the hours in. So it's not going into it blindfolded thinking it's going to be easy and you can do it part-time if you want to be able to do the numbers and be successful you can't do it part-time so have all your ducks in a row you know make sure that you have got family around you have got people to support you and the children at an age that understand and kids can understand if you explain what you do you know and again having the partner that can assist you to do it um, because you're selling someone's biggest asset you know and sometimes You've got to keep the boundaries of when you turn your phone off and when you're with your children, you're with your children. And when I go home every night, you know, I focus on them. It's their time. But then when they're in bed, I'll email and I'll go back to, to sort of looking at things, um, answering calls, 
answering emails because it is someone's biggest asset. When you're taking something on, you can't often just switch off. So I guess it's just really looking into it and knowing that if you're changing a career, it's a lovely career, it's great and it's beautiful if you're passionate about it, but it's not easy and it's not short hours. Jill, what's been your greatest challenge in real estate? It depends. On the sales side, um, time management, I guess. Time management in lots of ways. Time management from keeping on track to you know your daily activities, which I'm sure everybody says. You know, you can follow a day, a, a daily plan for a week or two, and then all of a sudden it just goes out the window. Um, and even my time management and listing presentations, I talk too much, so I had to stop. <laughs> I had to learn to know when to stop and listen more, which was a big thing, and my coach, yourself, helped me do that. Um, and so that was, so time management in all, in, in all aspects um, would be one of them. Jill, final question is, how do you define success? Because I once heard an interview with Jackie Anassis, and the interviewee asked Jackie, you know, what does success mean to her? And her response was, success to me means being the best daughter to my mother or father and to be the best mother to my children. So I suppose the question is, what's the definition of success for you? That's pretty much exactly what I think, to you be honest. You can't steal it, no. I know, I can't steal it, but it's, it's a fantastic answer. And as you were saying it, that was exactly, you know, my passion for me is to make my parents proud but to make my children proud too you know and to provide for them and to have be able to give them a great life um, and you don't need excess money to in order to do that but it's to have the balance so that you're there for them and then you can provide for them as well um, when you were originally saying it I guess success for me is enjoying every day you know enjoying every day you know, you go back to Dr. Fred, you know, if it's a 10 out of 10 day, that's big for me, you know, so it can be some little things of I've dropped the kids off to school and had breakfast with them, everything was great, I come home of a night, I'm seeing them, I'm doing homework and I'm putting them to bed, that's a 10 out of a 10 day for me as well as what I've achieved in business throughout the day. And to get a 10 out of 10 day in work for me is being in a great environment, being in part of a great team, you know, I'm with them more than I'm with my family. So if I can create a really great team and a great feel in the office, that to me is a success, you know, because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. There's nothing worse than if you had to go to earn the money and you weren't enjoying what you were, you were doing. So to me, success is enjoying what I'm doing and providing for my family at the same time.